Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and for my new subscribers. I'm glad you're joining us. My name is Yvonne. In today's video uh, I want to work in my softcover journal. For the new subscribers this is my softcover journal and I made a lot of pages already in here and uh, filmed most of them. So if you want to take a look at former videos, then you can see uh, some of the pages. Again, I've prepared uh, some things I want to make. These are the pages I chose, uh, which I want to work on. Uh, a book page and a vintage uh, lined paper, but it's uh, blank on the back. I already uh, did some cutting and inking because otherwise the video will be <laughs> very long. Uh, these are the digitals uh, of chapter one, Victoriana. They're, uh, I think they're newest kit at the moment. This picture not, I will link uh, the designer of this picture uh, down below, but all the other elements are all from this kit. This uh, image was like this, and in the middle there was just a, a faint background, and I fussy cut it open because I want to make a frame, and in here there will be a tag. So I'll start with that, and because this is just blank, I chose another digital uh, from that same kit, and I'm just going to completely stick this down. It doesn't have to be a pocket, because if I want to do some extra journaling, I can put it in here and on this will be some uh, elements that I can journal, put my journaling in and maybe here, but yeah, I don't like my uh, journaling to be visible, so maybe I'll put a quote here or something like that and the real journaling will be in a little envelope and uh, on the tag that is going in here. So I put this to the side a bit. This I already made, it is uh, from the kit also, it was like that. I just added uh, a label also from uh, chapter one and I backed it with uh, lined paper so I can journal on it. And it will be, later it will be in a little envelope. So this, it's a very versatile kit and there are so many uh, beautiful elements in it. So. Let's glue this down. I'm going to, uh, if it's coming out, <laughs> uh, I'm going to use wet glue because it's uh, a bit quicker. For my regular followers, they know I like to uh, use double sided tape. But I wanted to change things up. Of a dangle. Yeah, I hope I can put it in there. I'll show you what I had in mind. Uh, oops, a bit lower. And there's just a little of the book page showing, and that's fine. The advantage, of course, of wet glue is that you have some uh, some wiggle room to adjust if you uh, want to page a bit differently. Just up a bit like that. I had a little dangle here. I can show you. I made this, uh, Rose Hill Paper Cottage uh, made those, I think. I'll link it in the description also. Just a little image. This is not from chapter one, it's an image I had in my stash. Some embossed paper uh, underneath and then some script with a, a brad and then it's attached here. But 
Yeah, when I looked at it today, I re already made this. I don't like uh, the pink being so different, so I'm going to make a new one. This I can use some other time. That's not a problem. So this is, in a way, it's a pocket, and my tag will go in there. This is uh, a bit thin. It's the most my printer will take, uh, but the, the tag doesn't have to go out, in and out uh, so many times. This I'm going to do with glue stick because it's a, a large surface. I hope everyone is doing well. I'm still uh, all my uh, uh, yeah flu related uh, things are gone. My coughing and uh, and everything uh, from the COVID, but uh, still a bit tired. But I I feel that it's uh, it's really uh, coming along every day. That. I have a bit more energy. It's real getting used to uh, being very tired. Really love this image. It's such a beautiful tree. I'm not good with uh, plants and trees and things. <laughs> Don't know what it is, but I, I really like the image. Yeah, I'll see here it is a corner. I don't know if it's showing. The corner was missing from uh, the paper, and I'll I'll see when I come to this these pages what I'm going to do with it, and otherwise I'll just tear it off. I don't mind. I never used to be a, a real pink person, but since I discovered junk journaling and yeah, I did the, the vintage style, I really love the color. It's such a romantic, uh, a romantic color. Then I'll start with the little dangle that is coming here. The image I used here, because that's the image I, I did like, but I don't have it anymore, so this is also for my stash. The pink, a bit the pink. I already inked this, so I need to put a little of the embossing uh, behind this. And that is something I didn't like either. I glued the image to the embossed paper. And later I thought, hmm, it, maybe it would have been more nice if it was all loose so it could uh, swivel. So that's what I'm going to do now. So in a way you never, you can never make mistakes because you can always, uh, everything is a different style. So in a, in a way everything is okay. And yeah, maybe you like one time you like this and another time you like something else, so no right or wrong. And for me as a perfectionist that is really great and it's already helped me uh, since I found this hobby. I don't think perfectionism will ever be completely gone. But maybe that is not necessary that it is. But for me, it already feels better uh, not have to do everything completely right or perfect. I'm going to ink this up, and if I decide later that it's maybe a bit big on some areas, then I can or also then. <laughs> Then I can adjust it uh, it later. Because now I like it that this is a bit big, but maybe it's a little big later on. I chose uh, a script page and it's sized down, uh, I think about uh, four to a page. Let's 
see just a bit. Because it can swivel, so it, it doesn't have to be um, really bigger. Because then it won't be a snippet like piece anymore. Yeah, I like inking, it's not necessary. Sometimes it gives uh, a project uh, a nice touch not to ink. I really like it. Position it. Look how it is on the page. My hole is already here. Yeah, but I like this corner a bit more rounded. So that's what I'm going to do. And crumble it up a bit. Also a great way for perfectionists. And believe it or not, I really like this. <laughs> I never would have thought if somebody would have said that I would do this years ago, I wouldn't have believed it. I'm going to make a little hole in here. I'll just do it with my owl, owl because I have a really small brad. Because it's the same color as the the yellow in the in the digital. When I started uh, scrapbooking, yeah, I, I I bought a lot of materials and. Yeah, you think you need everything and also I, I bought a lot of breads and all kinds of colors because yeah with scrapbooking uh, it's the yeah a lot of books I made were for uh, for my children and uh, yeah it's different when you make I, I made uh, a life book for my daughter and uh, then you use much brighter colors because brighter colors are not something I would choose now. Let's see if I can get it in. But I do have all the supplies. I, I uh, donated a lot uh, of, of things I am sure I'm not going to use anymore. I donated to uh, some schools uh, here in my town. But these I kept, and I did use some. This is a bit fiddly. And now I do want to get some... Uh, let's see. This. Yeah, I really like it in the corner. And I'm going to leave it uh, this big. Because if I'm bothered by it later, I can uh, I can adjust it. And later off camera, I will uh, fiddle with getting uh, some tape on the back of the bread so the tag won't uh, interfere. I'm going to put this to the side. And then I'm going to work on the large tag uh, for in the pocket. I chose what I want to use. I already backed this. This is, I can show you. This was next to this. There was a, a bit in the middle, but this was, uh, yeah, there was more in the middle because this was a about an A4 and it was a, a page uh, in, from the digital. So it could be a journaling page. 
but I like these also and the writing then I can write on the on the tag. I also uh, chose some receipts from uh, chapter one and I already uh, cut them with uh, the I don't know if it's visible yeah with the decal uh, trimmer from uh, Tim Holtz. Let's stick these on. Maybe I'll manage someday a video that isn't <laughs> completely long. But if you want to show everything you're doing, yeah, then everybody who crafts will know it takes time. And also I'm not a very uh, quick crafter. I always need a lot of time to think what I'm going to use and how I want to use it. And in that area the perfectionism isn't gone yet. I tore this edge because it will be visible just a bit, not much, but then I like it more than it's, yeah, like here, that it's straight. That's not so, uh, not so nice. And the picture will go on here, and then I'm going to frame the picture here with the embossing, but the embossing has to be on top, so I have to see where the the pink has to go. That the brown of the tag is covered completely. Yeah. I really thought uh, the image goes so well with this kit. It could have been an image that uh, belonged there. Well, I didn't put it, sometimes I put it on uh, on the back of the, the card so I know which artist made them. I think her name is Lavender Blue, but I'll put it uh, in, the, in the description box. I've also been uh, preparing uh, everything for, for a journal and I want to film it from the beginning to until the end so if, if you like that you can uh, follow along and we are going to make a bit of different uh, journal with a little twist. I'm really excited about that. But I want to uh, prepare it well because, yeah, doing a sequent, uh, yeah, I don't know if that's the correct word, uh, a series of videos, it's different than just filming one. And, uh, also, yeah, completely new, so I have to think about uh, that everything is in order for you to follow it uh, well. But I'm very excited. It's, I, I like that it's something new I can try. And I'm very excited about uh, that type of journal I'm uh, with then. Uh, maybe we are going to make together and uh, yeah I want to have this on top and I want to let that peek out but I have to see if it's interfering with uh, the tag being put in the pocket I can trim it later and 
And now I want to see, I want to use these. I showed them. It's from a digital from uh, chapter one, and I put and yeah, just the A4 that comes out of the printer. I put double-sided tape on the back, and then I cut strips also with the decal to have that rough edge. And you know, I have a kind of a full washi uh, strip, and that's also a, a Rose Hill uh, paper cottage. And she has a beautiful, uh, or a very good tutorial about that. And I was thinking, this this is a different digital, but also from chapter one. But if I want a real pinky, just this. Mm. No, no, I like this one. Yeah, that was a quick decision. I can do that sometimes. This is turning left, like that. And now let's see how high this will be. Like that. I don't want to cover up too much. I, I, I so like the picture. I want it over or under the image. I think I like it. Yeah, I can do a bit of lace there. I'm going to put this underneath the underneath the lace, so it's not too much uh, really visible. Let's see. Yeah, just for a bit a pop of a color. Make it up a bit so it stands out a bit more. This right again. And I printed this on transparency paper. I did both. I have uh, washes I did on, uh, on normal copy paper. And I have some uh, I did on uh, transparency paper. So it's very subtle, but just a bit of color. Not very visible anymore. Mm. No, I don't like this piece here. It's so, uh, yeah, just a white piece. I don't like that. Um, let's see if I have something else. No. Maybe we have another piece that is make it a bit wider like this. And maybe I can uh, add a label. Let's see if a label 
I have the the new labels from uh, chapter one. I would have loved if there was uh, a green one in there, but they, there's not. It's I remember some other ones. Mm. These ones were uh, included with the uh, the receipts uh, digital. Let's see. Oh. A little bit different. This is too. Uh, it's the same color again. Mm. Oh, I like this green. Yeah, I like that green. so important to remember all the things you have, but that is also the, the difficult part because we have so many supplies and you can have everything uh, open on your work space because then you, have, you won't have space to craft anymore, but After I uh, rearranged my uh, my craft room, I did put more things on my table in uh, in containers like this, so I can easily uh, take from it. But yeah, we have so much. I have so much, but I don't think I'll. I'm the only one, <laughs> and it doesn't even work all the time. Sometimes it's it's right in front of me the the containers, and I still forget. No idea why that is. I'm going to put this, yeah, really like that. It's a bit large to be stick, but it will be covered, of course, by the by the lace, but I think it will be fine. Now I think it's too too bad if I cover it. Oh my. Maybe I will just put some uh, small lace there and this will be visible. Yeah. Change of plan. But we can do that. Yeah, then I'll put some little strip there. I'm going to use white glue and then I can position it a bit more. I crumbled it up uh, really and folded this, but then I decided on the embossing, so I straightened it a bit again. Yeah, I could have sewn, but it doesn't matter. I don't like it if I sew now and I have the sewing lines here. I don't really like that, so. I'm going to leave it. 
Yes, I can crumble a bit. They already were, but it flattens when you are working with them. Like that. This is also better with uh, wet glue because the embossing, of course, uh, makes a higher and lower um, prints in the paper. So with the glue. Goes better in the in the valleys. It was already sticking it's on this side. Yeah. Okay. Go over it a bit, not too much, otherwise the embossing will be gone. Yeah, let's trim this a bit. The corners. This will be noisy. It makes a lot of noise, this trimmer. And in the first instance, I had this in mind to put up here. It's too much. No, it's too much. Ink up the borders and then put some lace on here. Because I do feel there's something missing here. But maybe it's just because in my head or I planned the, the lace. And maybe now it just looks a bit bare. I can put the lace on top. I really like um, lace on top of a tag. And maybe with a little flower, because that's something I put on my desk also to try and remember that I can use it more often. And at the moment, I really like these small, it's from a trim, a little strip. Let's see if I have a bit like this already. And an angle. Oh, this is also not. Ah, it's not visible, of course. That's too long. Let's see. This is really my all time favorite lace. Uh, yeah, in Dutch we call it old, old pink. I, I really love it. <laughs> 
I used it so much already, but I, I can't get enough of it. Yeah, I'm going to do it double up on the front. Let's rough it up a bit, but it doesn't really want to tear. It's not old uh, lace, it's, um, it's, it's new, but yeah, I really like it. I love the color and the, the flowers on there. Textile glue and my paper. Let's see. Yeah, maybe like that. Yeah. Why well, I'm very proud of myself on making decisions in an instant. Wow. <laughs> the front. Let's see if this it's so hard to see uh, sometimes with the lace what's the the right way up. That happens a lot, that it, it has to set for a minute, otherwise it will just stick to my fingers. I'll set this aside and I'll... Uh, I can choose the the lace for the bottom. Um, let's see. Let's see if which. Really small one, or not a white one, just subtle. Um, let's see this one. How this looks. Oh, I like that better. It's not so transparent, so it sticks out a bit more. Yeah. I think I'll use the art glitter, glitter blue. <laughs> oh my god, I always stumble on that on that name. And let's make a straight ash. That doesn't, my normal scissors don't uh, cut fabric or lace. And this little one is great for that. Let's see if there is a right way up. I don't see it. No, I can flatten this is better. Yeah. Just on the bottom of the picture. I'm gonna let it go to until the end. In frame. I really like the, the stamp. It's not a real stamp, but it looks like I used a stamp. I have a lot of stamps and always yeah, forget a bit and then I decide against it, using, using it and 
<laughs> yeah, well, maybe someday. Let's see if this is dry enough. And I can glue this piece on here. I can use this also. Let this dry again. Put this to the side and ah. It didn't come that far, it was already loose. Mm. Yeah. Put the scissors on there. Like that. And then I have, yeah, this is just a small piece. I don't know if I'm going to fit it somewhere, but yeah, I really, I really liked, I was already uh, starting uh, this. It's also an image from uh, chapter one. I think it's a, a kind of a calling card. And I backed it with uh, writing paper and scrunched the sides up. And then I really wanted to use something in the wooden frames. I, uh, that's something I already have also from uh, scrapbooking and years and years but then this is a bit empty and then i thought i'll do two labels then the green the green is coming back and this is a label from uh, from chapter one like that so i'm going to stick that down and i'll see if i can uh, use it in this on these pages or maybe in another project. It doesn't matter. It'll fit somewhere. Like that, Look to the side. There is a bit in there different from each other. Yeah, I like it up there. And I always like to make a lot of things uh, that you can write on the back. And if you don't, yeah, it doesn't matter, but if you want, there's room. And it's going quite well. Be, uh, yeah, the ones who followed me longer know uh, I had a hard time uh, journaling and, and, I, and I did want to. And in this journal, I journaled uh, with every page I made. There is uh, some journaling. Very nice card. I really like the frame. I have larger ones also. And I kept them so long, I really wanted to use them. A card that can always be used. A little booklet. And this is a project, um, uh, Rose Hill Paper Cottage. Uh, I will link the video down below. Uh, she did a tutorial on. Uh, she used the coin envelope. I use... Uh, an envelope from uh, the new Victoriana kit from chapter one. And I put a label uh, on here, a small label, and it can tuck the envelope uh, end in. And I just made a little cluster from my favorite lace and some uh, flowers I still had, and then a little bling in there. And in here is room for this booklet, but the tutorial uh, Rose uh, Hill Paper Cottage did, she was layering up on the coin envelope with a brad, so it can swivel and you layer up uh, some items. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, these are the images from the kit. 
This one I uh, did with a, a roughed edge and this one I just cut out. And I backed it with an uh, old book page with a little structure in it. And I want to uh, do this again. Leave a little border and crumble it up. So I'm going to tear just a bit. Doesn't have to be much. But just for a different effect. That one I tore by hand, but yeah, it's difficult, so I didn't uh, really didn't want to try my luck with the larger uh, portions. And here I'm going to cut the corners a bit. It's very thin paper, so it's not going to uh, be a a really round corner, but that's okay. And I inked up the images, but I'm not going to do that uh, with this paper. Because I want it uh, extra yeah, white if you will. It's not completely white, it's off-white. But just for a different in, uh, difference in color. Hmm. It's not that easy here. When Heather does that, it's, it looks very easy and beautifully crumbled. <laughs> So this comes on top of this, and then I want a piece of this green or that green, but I'm first going to tear this. Maybe I'll try, because when you tear by yourself, it's more uneven. And that's what I like about it. Okay, not bad. Almost weekend. I always like, I, I don't mind the week, it flies by, but it's always nice when it's weekend and there's some free time to, uh, to go do something or... That's always nice. And today we, we didn't have much sun, but tomorrow uh, they say it will be back. So that's that's nice because it's a completely different vibe if, uh, if the sun is shining. Um, I'm going to tear this also. So you don't have the straight line. Um, yeah, both the greens are okay. This is a bit thinner, so I'll think I'll uh, I'll take this one. And so this edge a bit. And uh, yeah, with embossing, it's hardly. Uh, yeah, almost not possible to that it tears with the design. It yeah, because and this is also very thin paper, so yeah, it tears very easily. Oh no, I want this small. Okay, yeah, this goes in here. Yeah. And because they're going to swivel, then you'll see the, the different uh, patterns on the papers. Let's see. Just a bit, a bit more. 
Okay. And let's see how it looks. So cute, the little birds. And then some of the green, uh, yeah, the layers peeking out. Let's see here. The grab will be in there the best. And which one? Yes, it wants to cooperate. And no, because I already glued. Um, I, this is why I took this mat. Let's see if I can stick this a bit in here. It probably would have been better to leave have that I left the, the envelope open. But at that moment, I didn't know what I wanted to do with it. Now I... Oh, oh. Not everything is gone. And now I want to reinforce this because I printed this on normal copy paper. So I um, because I, I, I liked it and when it's layering, there were so many layers, I was afraid that it would be too bulky. So that's why I printed it on copy paper. And it gives it also a kind of a bit uh, of a vintage look because in that day there weren't that many really uh, uh, really thick papers and you can crumble it up more and <laughs> that kind of idea let's see where the hole is I'm gonna punch it again and what I put behind uh, here is, uh, oh, I didn't do a very good job of putting it where the hole is. Again. Like that. And now I don't know if it's... You see, it's reinforced. The mini brad. And Heather did uh, some. She put the, the brad on the inside, and the yeah, the, the legs, if you will. I don't know what what they're called. It's difficult because of the the cardstock I have in, on the inside and she put it the other way around so that the things were sticking out and that was also a very nice uh, effect so you can choose if you want to um, have the round thing or the legs on the outside I'm going off camera. I'm going to stick also some uh, some tape on there because yeah, this is going in there. It works, but maybe better if there's some tape on there. Like that, and now. I really like it. 
Yep, very satisfied. Let's see, this is stuck down. This also. So let's try it on the page. All of these things to the side. And all the items I have. Let's see if I want a little clip or maybe that's not or paper clips. I've rusted some uh, paper clips. So this is going. I can journal on the back. And this is going in here. Oh my. My picture. Ah, oh, I forgot. Oh my. Yeah, I didn't remember. I was making the tag uh, so it all fit well on the tag, but it had to be uh, that the picture is visible, of course, in here. So I have to remove some of this. Yeah, that's too bad, but it's, yeah, I didn't think of that. Yeah, so that's how the mistakes happen. But this is what I had in mind. And let's see if I have a rusted one. If I like that. Oh. And then like this. As always, thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. If you like this video, I would love for you to subscribe, give a like, and a comment, I would love to hear from you, and I will see you next time. Bye!